हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू बड़ी डेवलपर्स एम नवीन सो वी आर प्रोसीडिंग विद अवर सीरीज ऑन हाउ टू क्रिएट अ डायरेक्टरी साइट यूजिंग ब्लॉक स्टेप एंड द डायरेक्टरी थीम एंड जियो डायरेक्टरी प्लगइन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ यू कैन कस्टमाइज द साइट हेडर एंड फुटर व्हेन यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ डायरेक्टरी साइट यूजिंग द ब्लॉक स्ट्रैप डायरेक्टरी थीम एंड जियो डायरेक्टरी we have also seen how you can customize the home page so now we will talk about the inner pages the pages which are created by geo directory like for example we will talk about how you can customize this archive page we will talk about how you can customize this detail page detail listing detail page we will also see how you can customize the search result page this is what uh, we going to see and uh, we will also see how to customize the default header because when we move back to home page the header look like this with my count icons and all but when we move to the inner pages the header look got changed you can see here so because it is loading the default header so we will see how you can customize the default header and also we will see the templates created by users wp for example the user my account page we will see how you can customize it we will see how you can customize the profile page of user and other things so without any delay let's start with it okay so now the first thing first we will first customize this default header and make it look exactly like the one that is loading on the home page okay so for that either you can directly click here in the edit site or you can go back to the WP admin appearance and editor so for now I'm just clicking on this edit site here so here you can read that I am in the GD archive template right now because I clicked edit site from the places page okay so here I will click on this document overview here it says header footer so I will just click on header and click on edit here so it will move me back to the default header edit page okay so I'm in the edit page of the header right now so now I will make the necessary change here for example the first thing which I will do is I will go uh, to this navigation bar brand and I will remove this text and upload the icon that we have uploaded in the media section okay so now my logo is uploaded here uh, the menu seems all fine just I have to paste the uh, my account menu drop down here so for that I will just copy it from the transparent header so I will go here in the admin dashboard appearance and editor I will go in the pattern and then click on journal and here we see all the uh, header all the templates so this is our header transparent which is loaded on the home page and if you check there are other templates too so i will just click on this header transparent and uh, i will just click on document overview so this is what the menu says so i will even i can just copy the entire block from here okay or and since i already uploaded it so i will just copy this one so i just copied this navigation bar this navigation bar i will go here in the default header and i will uh, can i paste it here somewhere let's see if i can paste it if i just paste it yeah so i have to do control v uh, because uh, here the option is not appearing if I right click on it the option is not appearing to paste it so just to control V control C control V the shortcut works okay so now my header uh, and everything is set I will just save it and if I go to my site home page now this is my transparent header and if I move back to the inner pages, for example, this archive page, this is how it looks. So everything seems all right now. Okay, so everything seems all right now. So uh, what I have to do now is um, 
I will show you how you can customize this archive page template. So again, it is very easy. Uh, if you want to customize this GD archive page, uh, we call it GD archive page. If you are not sure about like, you know, what are the terminologies, like what is GD archive, what is GD detail, you can check our GeoDirectory uh, series and I have explained everything in detail related to GeoDirectory page templates. So just for a short introduction, GD archive is the template name which gets loaded on the archive page. So this is archive page and the template which is responsible for maintaining the layout of this page, we call it GD archive. So now to customize this page, either I can directly click on in this edit site button here it will it will directly like you know redirect me to the edit page of the archive or i can go to the editor like from here appearance editor and click on template so here basically you will see all the templates that is provided by blockstrap theme so in these template this is for the template that we want to customize to customize the archive page so you can directly click on it and it will move back you to the gd archive customization page okay now let's talk about the inner pages for example if i click on this listing so if you want to customize the layout of this detail page maybe you want to add uh, some event listing here or maybe you want to do some customization like related to this images or all you can directly click on this edit site link it will move you to the gd single page template so as you can see it takes some time to load those short codes so no need to worry about those short codes so they take some time to load there but uh, this is how it looks so you can customize it you can move the block here and there and to see the document overview uh, like how the block has been maintained you can check them here so there is one more thing that i just want to put in your consideration like you can see here every block is starting from bs that means block strap so these are the uh, blocks created by block strap theme so you can check all those block by bs so all that start with this ps prefix uh, are represents the block step theme or directory theme blocks so you can use them and all the blocks that start with gd they are the block of geo directory okay so you can use the those block and you can see how the existing uh, layout has been maintained here you can see that everything is wrapped in bs container and then inside we have bs rows and then bs calls columns and then the sub blocks inside them so this is how you can maintain the layout and every block that you uh, add in the right hand side you can see the settings related to that block and you can customize the block related setting from here okay so this is how you can customize the gd single page template now we will talk like if i click on this search button so this is the search page search result page and if you want to give a separate and different look to this search result page in that case you just have to click on this edit site link here it will move you to the gd search page template so there you go you can see that gd search archive page template has been loaded and you can edit anything you want to add you can see that this short code is taking some time to reflect the default layout uh, so you don't have to worry about them so just take some time but based on the site of the speed of your site and internet but everything will work all right okay so this is how the search page template loading right now and you can customize it as i said you can customize you can move this map here and there and you can do different things on this search page from this gd search archive page template and again to notify you you can also reach to these page templates from editor appearance editor and then here just click on template 
and from this template section you can find all those templates related to geo directory like this gd search archive gd single is for the listing detail page we have the uh, we have the gd archive where is the gd archive okay so we have the gd archive tape based template it is responsible for archive page similarly if you want to customize the ad listing page somehow you want to customize this particular page then you can edit it by editing this page template so this is all about how you can customize the geo directory related page templates now let's talk about this account page so if user wants to check their account they can check it here they can edit like they can edit their name and everything they want to edit they can reset their password they can see that set the notification setting and privacy setting and everything so if you want to customize this particular page template maybe add some background or header change the page header or something you can just click on this edit side it will move you to that to the edit page of this particular page so uh, let's talk about this profile page now it is very important right now it seems empty so uh, here we will do several things so first i will go in the admin panel and then i will go to users wp and click on this form builder so now i'm the form builder and uh, the next thing which i will have to do is i will click on this profile tab and here basically i will add some profile menus like so one more thing that i want to put in your consideration is if you don't know anything about this plugin called users wp you can go to buddy Rupa's youtube channel and there you will find a video a complete guide on the users wp plugin so you can check this video out so it will be quite informative for you so for now like you know for this profile page i will add several tab here like this listing tab so through this tab the user can see his own listing and anybody also can see like what kind of listing this user have what are the different listing this user have so they can check it and you know we have talked about this favorite thing like what happened where this listing goes if user add them as their favorite so for that you can add this favorite tab so i will add this favorite tab here so that user and here we have the privacy tab like whether you want it to be visible to logged in user or author only you can set it here so i'm just keeping it to anyone okay so that means it's like you know uh, user whatever user set as their favorite will be uh, visible in their favorite tab similarly we have this review tab so it says like how many reviews this user has given to different listing all those review can be see and seen under this tab so i will just save this too and if i refresh this um, profile page now there you go you can see here so these are the different listing that belongs to buddy developers so right now because i'm the admin and everything belongs to me so hence every listing is showing it under my listing tab i will click on this favorite it shows like what are the different listing that i have added as my favorite so i will go here in this this uh, same rock uh, listing and i will unfavorite it from here and if i just refresh it it will be uh, removed from my list you can see in the review tab i can see all the review that i have given to different listings so for example i have given this particular review to western uh, best western center city hospital hotel so this is all you know uh, this is all about the profile page user can upload a background image uh, from here so let me upload a background image um, So after I upload it, it gives me option to crop it.
there you go you see so this is how it looks this profile page looks and uh, so you may be wondering like why this similarity is displaying here okay and how to edit it so basically this is nothing but a page title so I think if I go here in the edit account page you can just click on this pencil button so so here I have set my display name as uh, my email ID instead I will just make it Naveen Giri and I will just save this change now if I go to my profile page again so basically this is how it works now and uh, by default you know this is the page uh, head tag like the title tag so it's in h1 tag and this particular title there is this title too so this title is uh, in h2 tag so you can customize uh, these two titles like which one you want because it is very important like this URL is publicly accessible so for example if I check this URL in an incognito window there also you can see that Naveen Kree profile can be accessible so again this page is indexable too so it will be indexed in google by the name of Naveen Kiri. so whenever somebody will type Naveen Kiri in the google there are chances that this particular website page can come up in the list so to customize this particular page I, you just click on edit page and you can customize it from here so you can see here only one short code has been added so you can customize it from here because this profile page is nothing but a simple page it's a simple page it is not a page template you can also access this particular page from the pages section of the wordpress tool okay so that's it for today guys i hope you learned something new today if you have any query any questions related to geo directory or this video you can just put me in the comment section of this video I will reply to them and stay tuned for more such helpful video related to geo directory buddy press and WooCommerce you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated so see you in the next video have a good day